forced off the bike by injury. We round up some of the most common issues faced by cyclists and advise on how to treat and prevent them. Some common issues experienced by cyclists can be treated and avoided with home care. We've rounded up the most common and collated some of the advice we've got around these issues to help you out if you're suffering. Impact injuries. Crashes are an unfortunate side effect of cycling. The obvious advice is to seek medical attention if you've crashed heavily. Even if no bones are broken, you may have hit your head. Concussion can require significant rest, such as time away from screens, and is not to be taken lightly. One of the most common breaks for a cyclist is the clavicle, collarbone, and the good news is that this often takes about six weeks to heal but you can still get on the turbo trainer in the meantime. Muscle strains are less obvious impact injuries. Strained muscles may cause you to overcompensate, resulting in overuse injuries. The temptation is to get back on the bike ASAP, but sometimes it's a good idea to take extra rest or even have a checkup with a physio or osteopath before you get back to riding after a crash. The least serious, but often most annoying, injury caused by a crash is road rash. This is grazing of the skin caused by hitting, and often skidding along, the tarmac. As much as it might sting, it's important to carefully clean road rash as soon as you get home, by clean, we mean scrub, sorry, before using a good antiseptic cream. Keep it clean and dry for the next few days for a good recovery. When it comes to crash prevention, riding within your limits and taking safe lines can help, but sometimes there's nothing you can do. Lower back pain. Hours spent curled over the handlebars mean that one of the most common injuries cyclists suffer with is lower back pain add in that many of us have jobs that require more sitting and bending over computer screens and the problem reaches new levels of epidemic. Back pain doesn't just stop there, often upset lower back muscles will lead to changes in posture which can impact other areas. In particular, the piriformis muscle which starts at the lower back and connects to the upper surface of the thigh bone. Irritation here may present as hip pain, or pain anywhere lower in the leg as the sciatic nerve which runs from the lower back to your toes can become upset when the piriformis is tight. If you suffer from lower back pain, take some time to rest, stretch your back and hips and try using a foam roller. If the problem persists, see a professional like an osteopath who can calm the symptoms. Then look to make some changes to prevent a reoccurrence. The following are key things to look at. Position on the bike, if your position is very aggressive with a long stem, top tube and low handlebars, think about raising them to alleviate pressure. Position off the bike, if you work at a desk, think about your posture. Investing in a McKenzie pillow, round pillow that sits at your lower back and helps maintain good posture, is a good idea and you should also check your setup isn't encouraging awkward twisting and that your chair is comfortable.